Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Jillian, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my 2018 Christmas home tour. Now, I was so excited this year to decorate my home because if you guys did not know this, we did just purchase this house last year back in January. So we bought it right when the new year started. So we did not celebrate the holidays. So this year is our first year in this house for the holidays. So I was super excited to start decorating. All right guys, so welcome to my 2018 Christmas home tour. I'm going to start off here in my living room and show you guys everything that I have out here. So over here on my couch, I do have some holiday pillows. Now I have this Believe pillow that was in a set of two that came from Walmart. And then I have this pillow that says in this house we believe that I purchased this year from the Target's dollar spot. And then this Merry Christmas pillow that I bought from Target as well. It is from the Hearts and Hand line. And then over here is another In This House We Believe pillow with the matching set of the Walmart pillow. Then over here on my coffee table, I have this Christmas sleigh that I bought last year from Target. And then I just threw in some Christmas bulbs inside. And then over here in this tray, I have this really pretty Christmas arrangement that I love. And I use this face year round. I just change it out for each season. And then I have this leaves candle inside. I know it's a fall scent, but I'm obsessed with it. So that is why I have it out. And then this Mary tray I bought last year from Hobby Lobby. All right, now moving over to my TV stand. I did change this probably like two times already, but I think I'm happy with how it looks for now. Right here I have this Be Merry Reindeer and then these two Christmas trees and all that was purchased from the Target's dollar spot. And then I have this string light that I also bought from Target. I'm pretty sure everything here is from Target. Then this house that lights up also from Target. And then I bought this green truck probably around fall time. It came out like in two or three different colors and I grabbed the green one and saved it for Christmas. And then I just have a Christmas tree in at the back. Then I have this Bath and Body Works pumpkin apple candle. I put it out because it's red, so it matches with Christmas. And then this wreath that I made in a DIY that I will be uploading sometime next week. So definitely look out for that video. Then over here on my fire mantle, this is how I have it set up. I do need to fix it. As you guys can see, one side is stapled down to the side, the other side is not. I just need to make it a little more neater. But up here, I have a Santa Claus with two Christmas trees. And then on the other side, I have two more glitter Christmas trees and then this light up garland was just an extra one for my staircase so I decided to put it above my fireplace now moving on into my kitchen I honestly really don't have much in my kitchen but I did put a few things in there so over here in the corner I have a picture of the kids from 2014 when they took pictures with Santa Claus and then I have some holiday soap so some dish soap and also some hand soap and then I also have this Happy Holidays sign I bought from Walmart last year on clearance. And then in the corner here, I have this Best Time of the Year frame, and that is from Target Dollar Spot, along with this Believe sign, which is also from the Target Dollar Spot. Then I have this white tray that I usually keep out year round, and then I just change it out for each season. So I have a candle from Walmart. I have a really pretty glitter Christmas tree, and then this house that I was so excited to find at Target, along with some string lights inside. And over here on my coffee slash tea bar, I just have this Mary sign that I bought from Target's dollar spot. I think I bought that one last year. Then up here, I have Ryan's first ever picture with Santa Claus. He was so cute. And then I have this candle holder from Bath and Body Works, which is a snowman. And then this Noel sign that I bought from Walmart. And over on my bar, I do have a few things set out. So over to the corner, I have this ceramic Christmas tree and ceramic house from Target. And then I have a Christmas candle for my local grocery store. And then this little green wreath, I think I also bought from the Target Dollar spot a while back. And then this white wooden joy sign, which is also, of course, from Target. 
all right guys do not judge this tree is not completed yet i still need to get a topper and i also need to get a tree skirt but i haven't found one that i really liked yet so that is why it does not have a topper or a tree skirt but i do have a lot of really cute ornaments on the tree i have this one from dollar tree i want to go back and buy a few more because they have a ton of really cute ones for only a dollar i also have this white bell that is also from dollar tree and then of course you guys know i love my wine my sister bought me this ornament i think like one or two years ago and of course i flocked the tree this year i'm so excited for that moving into my guest bathroom over here on the floor in the corner i have this bobble little tin santa claus that i bought like three years ago from publix then i have another christmas arrangement all of my arrangements are from dollar tree and then I have this Arctic Berry hand soap from Bath & Body Works. And then that little wooden sign is from Target. I also have this wall plug-in from Bath & Body Works and it also lights up so it's a night light. And then just this Christmas hand towel. Then over here I have two more bobbleheads that are also from Publix and a Christmas tree. Then over here I have this wreath that I made in a DIY last year. I will link that down below for you guys to check out. And then moving into my dining room, I don't really have much here. I just have my year round placemats and then I have another Christmas arrangement. Then I also have a candle holder, but there's no candle in there. I need to go out and buy some more Christmas scented candles to put in there. And then in the bottom is a wooden little ornament that I purchased from the Target's dollar spot. All right, now moving on to the last part of my house that is decorated, which is my staircase. And it is wrapped in this pre-lit garland that I am obsessed with. I bought from Walmart last year when all of their Christmas items went on sale. I grabbed four of these boxes. I believe they were 50% off when I purchased them. So I just wrapped it around all around my staircase and my balcony. I do need to fix some sections, but that is how it is set up for now. All right, guys, so that is going to end my 2018 Christmas home tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give my video a thumbs up. Also, subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you have not already, and I will see you guys next time.